morning. The pigs are about ready to go out. They are getting heavier by the day, literally. So Stephen's down here giving me a hand because we're finally going to be getting the back bit here behind me set up for the pigs to come out to. So we're dividing this whole space that we've got. So there's basically everything that you've seen before, which is from the top there all the way down to the bottom. We're going to divide that pretty much in half and we're going to get that done today and then the pigs will be ready to come out once we've got the pig arc um, and all of that done down the bottom so Stephen's just out helping me well he's doing it and, and I'm helping him I guess to get ready for that so this this is what it looks like before I will show you what it looks like after I don't believe it. Right. We're three weeks into having the pigs, so we're just getting the outside area prepared for when they come out. We're just putting this up against the fence just to stop them chewing on the wood of the fence. And then we'll just pallet that off fully. We won't put a gate in, we'll just leave it solid and then when it comes to taking them out, we'll just take the middle pallet out and take them out. And then over this area, while they're small, they'll use the IBC tank, we'll just fill that with straw and they'll use that. But then we're going to build a metal arc over the IBC tank for when they get a bit bigger and then they can use that as well. Well that's them done for the night and we're all set up ready for the pigs to go out down the bottom. So we were hoping to get them out last week but the weather didn't allow it. Anyway the weather's finally turned so they're nearly 13 weeks and we're going to get them out tomorrow because I've got my friend coming around to give us a hand with them because they're a bit too big for them to manage on my own. The pigs have been in the barn now for nearly five weeks and in that five weeks they've gone through six bags of food and the bag of food is nine pound so we've been increasing the food every week, giving them a bit more and a bit more as they get more and more weight. So now they're going on to a breeder pellet, which is in between like a starter pellet, what you feed the piglets up to 12 weeks, and a finisher when you're getting ready to send them off. So that's what we're transitioning them on now over the next week or so. So we'll mix it in with the small pellets. But we also, while they've been in the barn, have been giving them a few apples and a few bits of veg to get them used to that as well. So, so when they finally go outside tomorrow, we'll be supplement and the more and more on veg and what we can grow ourselves because the increased price of food is just going to go up and up and up so hopefully we can get them plenty of stuff we can grow ourselves and keep the cost of that down so fingers crossed everything will go all right tomorrow and we'll get them down there no problem Maybe. <laughs>
My goodness me, that was eventful. Thankfully, the pigs were totally fine. As soon as their feet touched the floor, they didn't even make a noise after that. If you go back and watch the footage, literally the second they're on the floor, they just stop. So, so dramatic, but hey, fits in perfectly around here, I guess. So, these guys are now outside, 13 weeks old. Happy, happy, happy. I've literally got leftover stuff in the veg plot that's, you know, the beetroots and all different uh, root veg and bits and pieces like that that we're throwing in and having a chomp on. They've left some actually, they've left some turnips over there in the corner, but they're making short work of some, bleh, they're making short work of some of the ground that we've got there. Absolutely loads for them to be getting on with. And they're loving the um, pig arc, well, essentially what we've made our own that Stephen's made and done a grand job of that. So they're sleeping in there. Thankfully, they haven't got out. <laughs> we've put barbed wire all along the bottom of the stock fence. So we've got these telegraph poles as well to stop them rooting and getting the noses under. And there's barbed wire on there just to give them a bit of a shock. Um, you could use, I'm trying to chew my legs. Um, you could use electric fencing as well, but we've never needed that with our pigs. We've just used the barbed wire and some stock fencing, but it must be um, put in really well. Anyway, they are doing so well. They're happy, happy with the gun and, and loving it. Follow you everywhere. So that's the update for now. Pigs are safe and sound outside. Stephen is waiting for me because he wants to go to being cute for something. So I'm gonna go and go on a trip with him, road trip, and let you know how the pigs are getting on shortly.